Story time. This is the behind the photo story of the first time I got to photograph legendary music video and film director, Director X. This man here has worked with Drake, Rihanna, Jay-Z, Kanye West, Redman, Sean Paul, Aaliyah, Iggy Azalea, you name it, he's worked with them and he also does a lot of artwork. My recommendation for anyone who wants to direct is to direct. Anyone who wants to sing, they should sing. In and, and, and the arts, go do it. People who meditate have more gray matter and more volume. Their amygdala is calmer, smaller. Couple years back, I was asked to do portraits for the speakers of TEDx Toronto. TEDx Toronto is one of the largest TEDx's in the world. I love working with them. I've worked with them many times in the past. And the, the, the thing that solidified me wanting to do this project was when I saw Director X as one of the speakers. I love him, I love his work. And so I'm like, yes, absolutely. The day of shooting was maybe a month before the actual TEDx event. They lined up all these speakers. I got to make this this really cool set and they gave us some space to have an intimate experience with all the speakers. And Director X was scheduled to be the last speaker of the day. We're shooting, things are going great. Somebody from the TEDx team comes in. I don't know who this person is, but they come in and they're like, oh, did you not hear? Director X isn't coming. And so me and the whole team are like, oh man, we we're so looking forward to that. Maybe we get to shoot him um, later uh, for the event. And so if you've ever been on a set of film or photography set, you know, it takes a lot to build the set. It takes about two hours. And I think there's three or four of us to build this set. And so we wrap the set. It took another two hours to wrap this entire set. End of the day, exhausted, grab our stuff, feeling fulfilled. It was a really good day. And as we're leaving Brickworks, which is where this uh, photo shoot was happening, I run into the co-chair of TEDx Toronto, Jeff Lonas. And as we're leaving, we've got all our gear. We're heading to the cars. Jeff's like, D, what are you doing? I'm like, what's going on? We're done. He's like, what do you mean? Director X. I'm like, oh no, you probably didn't hear. Like he's not coming. He's like, He's coming. I'm like, so here's the thing about Jeff. Jeff is known for pranks. So I thought, okay, this guy's pulling my leg. He's messing with me. But then I saw this thing in his eyes. It was fear. <laughs> There's this fear in his eyes of like, shit, you're, you're going to leave without Director X. And then Director X is going to drive all the way over here. And so apparently there was a miscommunication. Whoever that person was at TEDx Toronto that told us Director X was not showing up had his information wrong. So I remember literally there was like a, a cooler I was kind of carrying and I sat on the cooler for like five minutes and just thought as my crew is standing there, as Jeff is standing there, I'm like, are you for real? I'm exhausted. You want me to go back at the end of the day, set this entire thing up for one man? And I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it. And then I'm like, it's director friggin X. I looked at my team. We had a chat. My team is awesome. And they're like, we got to do it. We got to do it. So we rolled our shit back into this brickworks, set everything up again, took like two hours. And then we waited and then we waited. And in the back of my head, I'm like, what if he doesn't come this time? You know, and of course he walks through the door. We have a chat. You know, I could tell that he probably had like a long, busy day. And I was just so grateful that he'd still made the drive from wherever the hell he was to this spot to spend some time with us to take these photos. I wanted to share the story behind the photo of that time where I almost never shot Director X. 
Hope you like the story. More of these to come. Peace, y'all.